Hello people, today it's World Turtle Day! <laughs> so what I wanted to do was to show you how to find turtles in medieval manuscript in a better way than just looking for it on Google or Pinterest. Because for example, yesterday as I was announcing on Twitter and Facebook that I would do this little video, I shared this wonderful picture of monkeys riding, surfing actually, turtle shells and fighting uh, with people having bows and what is that, an arquebuse? Well, you see, I don't know what is going on here. I really don't know, but this picture is not a picture that I could have found on Google or Pinterest alone. I had to dive into the websites uh, that have those digitized manuscripts online. Google will not help you beyond a certain point. So, in order to explain that, let me tell you just a bit about how Google works. So, let's say that you're looking, let's type it in, for turtles in medieval manuscripts and you can also add the tag word illumination there it is to make sure that you find your turtles what Google will do is that it will not look for images of something that looks like a turtle and then go for uh, something that is a medieval manuscript and you know take the turtle put it into a medieval manuscript and give you the solution No, that is not how it works. Um, well, of course, you will find a few turtles in that are uh, depicted into medieval manuscripts, but Google is not able to recognize images. And that is why, for example, if you go just right there, you have lions. I mean, lions, uh, medieval monster here, and then here is something that looks like a phoenix. Um, in a medieval manuscript, there you have maps. And also you have snails, a lot of snails. This is definitely not a turtle right here. Uh, so you see, it's because Google works in a very specific way. It's not looking for the picture in itself, it's looking for the alt text. So should I put that? Uh, let's go back to main Google, the alt text. Meaning that a picture online is accompanied with a description, the alt tag, a text that tells the search engine what the picture shows, what the picture contains. If there isn't any alt text uh, accompanying the picture, the picture will just not show on any search engine. So when you're typing, as I was typing, turtles in medieval manuscript illumination, Google will not actually look for pictures of turtles, it will look for the word turtle and the word illuminations and the word manuscripts and they will look for that and that is how you have your result. Not because it has found a picture of a turtle and linked that to a medieval manuscript or has been perusing through medieval manuscript for anything that looks like a turtle. No, it's not how it works. Okay. Now that this is out of the way, um, we can also, of course, go through Pinterest and you will see that Pinterest is actually the first result on many uh, results of Google image. Here we have Pinterest, 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 Pinterest. Pinterest is a bit like, it's everywhere. So let's go to Pinterest directly and here I've already looked for the those turtles and you can find a bit like the same results you had on Google and you also have this little fellow here. Why? Because it's a turtle dove. Exactly. It's looking for the words and not for the picture itself. Computers are still very bad at recognizing features, visual features. So they need words, they need code in order to search for anything. So Google you won't have uh, nearly as enough results as you would have wanted. Um, Pinterest, it doesn't go far enough. So what you have to do, if you want to look for 
pictures, illuminations of turtles in medieval manuscripts, you actually have to know the websites that do contain those medieval manuscripts and go through each and every one of those websites. But be careful now that those websites are made in very different manners. And I will show you a few websites where looking for pictures, looking for illuminations is rendered possible because it has been built in a way that makes it possible. Okay, so first website, the Cambridge Digital Library. This one is basically the, the what you want to have. That's a dream website. <laughs> Because you can just go there and you can type in any word, turtle for example, and it will go directly to pictures of turtles that have been tagged, that have been described in medieval or any other type of manuscripts. And um, not only manuscripts, but any kind of images that has been digitized. Now, as you can see, we don't have a lot of medieval manuscripts from... I mean Western medieval manuscripts, but you do have, for example, here a Persian manuscript, I think, yeah, from the 16th century, where you do have a little turtle. Is that cute? Okay. <laughs> it's from the 16th century, but this website is amazing because it goes straight, it helps you to go straight to the picture, straight to what you're looking for. You can type it any kind of animal, and that's what you'll get. But then you have sometimes uh, cute little surprises like the map of Turtle Island if it wants to show. Do you want to show? Server temporarily unavailable. Okay, there it is. You do have the Turtle Island and reef discovered by Captain Cook in the resolution on Saturday, July the 4th. Da -da -de -da -de -da -da. <laughs> and here you have it a map of the Turtle Island. Again, why? because uh, the search engine is looking for the word and not for the animal itself. Let me show you the animal itself. Does it look like a turtle? No, it's, a, it's an island on a map that has been called a turtle island. <laughs> there we go. So another website that works kind of bit like the Cambridge, um, the, the Cambridge Digital Library would be the Digital Bodleian. So they are very close to each other, the Cambridge Library and the Bodleian Library. So maybe they had the same expertise uh, going on backstage. And if you look for turtle, here I did the research already for you, you will have this kind of result. There you, you feel like a bit cheated at first, like where is my turtle? I don't, I don't see any turtle. What you have to do is actually to click on the manuscript and it will go and will lead you straight to the picture you were actually looking for. So you won't see the picture at first. You have to click on the manuscript to maybe be lucky enough to find to see the picture you were looking for. But here, what do we have? Those are not turtles. Those are turtle doves. So let's go back and we will see that turtle doves are everywhere and turtles actual turtles are nowhere to be found, almost nowhere to be found. So again, it's kind of a fail. Uh, let's go here. Again, turtle dove. Does it look like a turtle? No. <laughs> um, okay, so is there anywhere we can see an actual turtle here? I think we do have to include uh, other results maybe images from film strips yeah because what I did here was that I excluded everything that wasn't a Western medieval manuscript oh no it's incunibula okay I think the only turtle I ever found here was here so as again first you don't see the turtle you need to click on the manuscript and there you go you have a little super cute little turtle isn't she cute and it looks like a turtle yay <laughs> it's a teeny tiny one but it's a turtle nonetheless and but this is not a manuscript this is a printed book an early printed book but still it's kind of a victory for us so now the british library 
it's really not user friendly. <laughs> it's a bit more user friendly if you know the shelf mark of the manuscript you're looking for. And even then, it's quite painful to go through every page because you have to, let's say you're looking for the manuscript Royal 16E4. You have to go through every page like this, scroll down. Um, yes, you have to scroll down and then etc etc and go on and you have so many addendum so many additional manuscripts that it's usually faster to go straight to the very end and work your way through there you see but you have still have to go all through z and w etc etc but let's say you're looking for turtles again and not for a spe uh, specific manuscript so i type in turtle there I go. And what is magical with uh, the British Library is that those manuscripts are heavily described. Um, let's look at this one. So you will see the content. Every single one of the illumination has been worded into the description. And this is how we are able to find the total that is in this a manuscript but that is only a turtle dove let's see if we can find a tortoise oh we do have the tortoise testudo so he's not a turtle but kind of a friend um, so it means that if we go straight to this folio number we will find the tortoise we are looking for so let's try this but it also means it also means that you may find more result if instead of typing turtle here in the quick search, you would type tur tortoise. You know what I mean? Well, so, but let's see how it works. So this manuscript, there are many images available and this is the manuscript reader. But what I wanna go, what I wanna see is the turtle. So I have to go straight to the folio number 238240 and i will navigate through here da, 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 da. i have to scroll down all the way down all the way down 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 i've forgotten the folio number already but i think i still remember it and there we go it should be over here somewhere we do have a pegasus uh this is quite pretty actually i've never seen this manuscript before and there we go we do have the testudo the tortoise da, da, da. But how old is that manuscript already? I think it's, yeah, it's from the 16th century. So it's a modern manuscript. It's not a medieval one, but still, I think that's totally a win because look how pretty it is. Not only the tortoise, but the background here, the, the workpiece. But that is not something you will find on Google. Can you believe that? That is not something that you will be able to find on Pinterest. And if you want to add it on Pinterest, well, you have to describe, you have to put in the word tortoise or turtle somewhere for somebody else to find it. Because this image in itself has no description. It has no alt text. So that's why you have to work around in order to find it. So let's go back and try another manuscript. Um, miscellany of late, early 12th century, early, okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Now, if I type in turtle, I will see that uh, I just have a added pasted strip of parchment with 19th century painted insect and a turtle. So it's 19th century something, and that's not what I'm interested for. I'm looking for pictures of turtles that have been made in the late Middle Ages or early modern era. This is not what I'm looking for. but this one here again i go through all the occurrences of the word turtle and look at that look at that freaking description you need to type in Control f and then type in uh, the word you're looking for but here you have it the apes sailing in turtle shells and carrying fish bones weapon attacking the boat in which i'm sorry i can pronounce it tarusia is traveling one defender has a gun and we even have the artist name Bura. and this is nope I will have well this is the picture I've showed you in the introduction actually this is that you know but again I need to to go down 
the British Library digitized collection in order to find that. I can't find it on, on Google. I can't find it on Pinterest. Well, now if I decide to save this picture, um, I will be able to, 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 to save this picture on my blog with the alt text of turtle and, uh, or, and, and I'm losing my words, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's move on to the next installation. Now that we know how the digitize, so we, of course, of course, if you decide to go for tortoise, I think you'll have a lot of more. Uh, no, actually, you don't have a lot of. But let's try in Latin. Test, testudo, testudo, testuda. Now, zero results. So you don't have a lot of results, uh, depending on the word. But you, you, you gotta try any word that works. Okay, so let's move on from the British Library collection to this one. So this is French. A French website called Initial um, and it's a wonderful website that tags in all the illuminations that are contained well all the digitized illuminations contained in manuscripts that are not in the National French Library but you can well you need to type it in French tortue and go look for it and you will find the manuscript but what you want to have is only the decoration uh, so that you go straight to the picture itself and you don't have to go through the entire manuscript and there you go you have it little tur turtles the, the the thing is that in French it's the same word that we use for tortoise and turtle so you just type in tortue and you'll have it now this one is uh, is very pretty <laughs> but I think this one showed up a bit earlier if you remember on Pinterest doo -doo 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 -doo. where is it where is it there it is there it is and uh, on Pinterest for example I could find the same exact picture where is it where is it yeah I could find exactly the same exact picture but Pinterest was not linking to this website it was actually linking to Twitter Twitter to an account of someone that likes to share uh, manuscript pictures but you're like okay where is the where is the turtle where is the turtle I don't find it well you find a lot of interesting content here for sure but you will not find the turtle you were looking for because you have to scroll down the entire Twitter feed of Damien Kempf in order to, to find it back so but what is amazing because sometimes actually you see a pretty picture that is from a manuscript what you want to do is to peruse the manuscript yourself but in order to do that you need to know the shelf mark you need to know the shelf mark and thanks to the shelf mark you can uh, find the manuscript more easily more easy on, on more more easy online <laughs> Okay, nope, this is not what I'm looking for. Well, the manuscript... <laughs> this video has been highly rehearsed. <laughs> but what I, what I want to stress here is that the reference or the chef mark of the manuscript is always capital, always the most important thing you need to, to have if you want to find more images from the very manuscript that sparked your interest. Let's say I was looking for a turtle. Well, I found a turtle here, but I say, hey, it's a pretty turtle. I'd like to see other artwork from this manuscript. I can go through, of course, this website too, but what I'd like to do is to go straight to the manuscript itself. Well, in this case, I actually have this manuscript in my favorites, so I will show it to you directly if I find it back. There we go. It's this one. You type here. And now I can peruse the manuscript myself at will. I can zoom in, zoom out, etc, etc. And this manuscript is just wonderful, beautiful and gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Now, uh, this one, this manuscript player is really one of the best in the world. Uh, but it's only because the digitized library here 
from Chambéry is very short. They didn't have a lot of manuscript to do, so they could put in a lot of work. And what you can see is that for every folio, you have a description of the pictures contained in it. So let's go for St. Paul. There you go, you have St. Paul. It means that someone was, well, actually did the work of referencing Conversion de Saint Paul to this very folio so that you would be able, by just clicking here, to go there. And I mean, that's crazy work. And that actually needs to be done for every manuscript if you want to find turtles every, in every manuscript. You know what I mean? Well, let's move on to the next thing. So the first one we went through, the first French website we went through was Initial. Initial, it's about the manuscripts that are not contained into the, uh, the French National uh, Library. But Mandragore is about exactly the illuminations from the manuscript contained into the French National Library. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, now what you want to do is to go with thematic classment and zoology and then you will go for reptiles and here you'll find tortoise, tortuga, turtle, tortue, testugine, tartaruga, all the words for the good, well-loved torture, turtle. <laughs> I cannot... I cannot speak anymore. It's been too long since I've spoken in English. So you can type it here and you'll find a lot of results, but you don't see the pictures. So you actually have to click here every single time in order to see the picture. Hmm, this one is a pretty one. Uh, okay. But beware because you cannot just go back you need to actually go here click back here and if you take too much time to peruse here it will reset so this website is not very user friendly and it's kind of a shame that you just can't see all the pictures as you would in uh, pinterest for example to go straight to the picture that spark your interest no you actually have to click on the text every single time and uh, go through pages and pages and pages and pages and hope to have uh, to find what you're actually looking for. Now, for example, there are two pages that I've uh, selected, pre-selected for this video. Uh, this one here, what you will see is that, uh, so it's one page that I unlocked pretty much like I did here. I clicked on one of these links, um, but it's kind of blurry and here I'm like where is the turtle I'm looking for a turtle I don't see it it's very blurry I can show the picture but uh, you will see that the, the actual size of this picture is is it's even more little so you will try to zoom in but it will still be blurry and you won't have any luck in to finding this little turtle that is hiding over there so what you can do is to go on this website, Archives and Manuscripts, from the BNF. You type in the shelf mark of the manuscript that sparked your interest. In this case, it was Latin uh, 9473. Copying, pasting. What I do is that I put quotation marks to make sure that I go straight to that shelf mark. Eh, something's not working. <laughs> something's not working. Let's try again. Okay, let's go back here from the very start. I put here, this, this, up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, well, something is not working over here. I don't know why. Huh, maybe, maybe, maybe now it will be working. So, you do have to put the quotation marks to make sure that you will go straight to the shelf mark, to the manuscript shelf mark that you are looking for. Otherwise, you will have a lot of other possibilities that are not what are what you're looking for. And then you wait, because on this website, you wait, wait and wait, and eventually you get 
uh, access to this notice and from this notice you can access to the digitized manuscript and on the digitized manuscript there we go you can go to the folio number that you have to, that you have to take note here it was folio number 176 uh, verso so there you have you have to type it here and you have to type in the little v because look at that if i type only 176 i'm not on the right page so 176 plus a little v and there i have it and there if i zoom i can see the turtle there you go it's not blurry anymore and on gallica this website i'm on here uh, what I can do is that I can actually download the picture on JPEG on a higher resolution that is actually shown here by just clicking like this. And I can download the turtle. There we go. Um, I will also do the same exercise for this. So just to recap, just to summarize, you go on Mandragore in order to find uh, manuscripts that show the animal you're looking for or the picture or the type of picture you're looking for in our case it's a turtle from there you can find uh, you can click I don't know here but there is no picture so that's a bad example like here you see well that's not a pretty one but <laughs> you see a picture that you like not this one but let's say this one you have to keep a tab off the shelf mark number and the folio number you type the shelf mark number here on archives and manuscripts from the BNF. You find the manuscript you're looking for. Look at here. There it is. You click on that. You will arrive on a notice for the manuscript you're looking for. And um, from there, if you're lucky, if it has been fully digitized, because sometimes you can find a picture on Mandragore, but it will not be accessible. It will not be downloadable on Gallica because it has been put on Gallica. But if you're lucky enough, you will have access to the fully digitized manuscript. You go to that manuscript, you type in the folio number you had on Mandragore first, and there you go. Woo! <laughs> what a travel, my friends. And this picture I really like, and I wanted to end on that picture, because this is a fable that is very well known in French, and I think all around the world, thanks to Jean de La Fontaine, um, it's about a turtle that want to see the world. Well, I don't know the version in Persian, okay? So I'm telling you the story in French. It's about a, it's about a turtle that want to see the world and she gets the help of two ducks. The ducks, each of the ducks, as you can see, is holding uh, the extremity of a stick and the turtle has to hold on to the stick in order to fly with the ducks. But as she's flying, everybody is amazed and the turtle is very proud and start to talk about how great she is to be able to fly but as soon as she does that she falls well here she's not falling but <laughs> she will fall here is a picture it's the same representation but it's from uh, a french edition of the fables of la fontaine jean de la fontaine and it's amazing that we find the same kind of image in a Persian manuscript from the 16th century. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. But that's because I was just lucky enough to find it through my very tedious method. That is actually, I think, uh, at the moment, the best method. <laughs> if you know another method, please put it in the comment. Uh, please put it there. And now I will just summarize, just to show you, just to make you understand one thing or two. So. You want to look for manuscripts online. It's very good. You want to look for illuminations of manuscripts online. Very good. First, you need to see, you need to know that there are manuscripts you won't find. Manuscripts that have been destroyed. Boom. They don't exist anymore, actually. Which one is this? How do I hide this one? Well, it doesn't exist anymore. Oof. <laughs> the other manuscripts that have been lost, you know? Uh, no, no, well, whatever. Manuscripts that have been destroyed, manuscripts that have been lost, they are still somewhere, but they are lost, you know. They are maybe at your grandmother's, they are maybe in a bookshop. Uh, nobody knows where they are. Uh, sometimes we know they actually exist or that they have existed, but we just don't know where they are and they are lost. 
There are also manuscripts that you won't find because they belong to personal collectors, to rich collectors, and they do not have a public usage of their manuscripts. They don't show, they don't share what they have in their manuscripts. So that's lost too for you. Then you also have all those manuscripts that are contained into public libraries such as well, national or university libraries, but that have not been digitized yet because that's quite some work to do. And um, yeah, that's yeah, that's quite some heavy work to do. It needs a lot of money, and let's face it, uh, the states are not well. The states, the countries, are not putting enough money into that kind of work because it's not a priority for them. Okay, so those are manuscripts you won't find. There, are, there is still another. Well, then you also have bo uh, manuscripts that have been digitized, but that have not been fully uh, described. So you will find them, but you'll have to go through them in an excruciating, painful way in order to find any picture uh, you may want to see. Um, yeah, so it would be very painful. For example, if you go on the Vatican website of digitized manuscript, there is no way for you to look for a specific kind of animal uh, and there is no work around. You need to know your, the manuscripts. You actually need to know the manuscripts in order to find it. <laughs> you can't just go type in turtle and hope for the best. No, it's not possible at this point. It is not possible because the manuscripts have not been fully described online. And then you have those manuscripts that have been fully described online and um, uh, or you, you know, there, there is a way for you to actually go straight to the picture in one way or another that you want to see. And then there is this one <laughs> that doesn't exist. <laughs> it was one too much. OK, so you see, um, it's a very limited amount of what you will see and it's very difficult to find this but I think it is worth the and the the enterprise when you find pictures such as this one it's so cool it's so badass um, I mean who wouldn't want to 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 fall upon that I want to know the story now I don't know the story so if you know the story please tell it into the comment I don't know the story of of, 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 of this <laughs> of this picture what's going on here why do we have monkeys right surfing turtle shells and and fighting back people with bows and guns and everything how come what's happening I don't know but it's so pretty it's so badass and uh, it should be promoted more I think and that is what I wanted to do with this video that is far too long now and uh, well Thank you for watching it on Turtle Day and uh, <laughs> ta -da. and uh, this will be the end of the video. Bye.